What's going on guys, this is Damien from The Lookout and I am here with the return of SSG Trunks Zeno. Yes, it looks like SSG Trunks Zeno will be back in the meta once Regionals Wave 2 drops. Because today we're gonna be discussing the newest promo, the new Regionals promo for SSG Trunks and how it impacts the deck and makes it so much better. Like, it's absolutely amazing. But first of two things, we host free proxy legal open to all region locals every Friday at 8 p.m. Central European time on our Discord. So if you wish to prepare for events, if you wish to test this deck out, link to our Discord is in the description below. And of course, a huge shout out to the Coffee Club, our lovely patrons. These are our $2 and up patrons. They buy us coffee, they keep this crazy content machine going. And guys, thanks out for support. If you wish to join the Coffee Club, link to our patron is in the description below. And I think that's about everything. Roll the video! As with all of our videos, let's start with the breakdown. So, SSG Trunks Azido is getting a huge buff, a major buff. I'm gonna give you a very, very brief archetype breakdown. We'll talk about the newest regionals promo. I'm gonna show you my deck list. It's not the best, but hey, I'm trying. <laughs> and we'll just wrap it up with a summary. Let's go. Let's start briefly by talking about the archetype for those who don't know what SG Trunks does. So the deck is about to make a comeback in like two months once the regional promo is out. But don't worry, starting next week you will be able to play it at the locals just to try the deck out. So what's this deck all about? It's a mono black Saiyan deck, okay? It's playing cards from the warp, which is basically your removed from the game area for those of you coming in from Fusion World. So it's playing cards that are removed from the game. Like your warp is effectively your other hand. You have a big boss monster, actually you have two of them, you have two big boss monsters, and you have a Z leader. Uh, but the problem, like a bit of a negative, is that the deck heavily relies on having a unison out, and RNG make, can make the deck break horribly. That's one of the things that the new promo is going to fix. But the biggest issue with SSG Trunks has always been that RNG can cause you to break horribly. Because to awaken, you need to have 5 Saiyans in your warp area, and sometimes you just don't hit 5 of them on time. Anyway, the leader has been going in and out of the meta for the last year, and now he's getting a new promo which is going to shoot it probably as high as the cell, uh, the new cell promo did for cell. Anyway, let's check out the promo. Speaking of new promo, here it is, and oh my god, this thing is so pushed. It's pushed beyond belief to be insanely good. Okay, so what does he do? Overrealm 6, you play it for free, basically. 30k, auto, when this card is played, Draw two cards and send one from your hand into the warp. Then it has the following ability. Activate main and limit one. You can use it only once across all copies. Per turn. If your leader is a Trunks Xeno only card, your opponent has two or more energy. That's the big thing. Two, not three. Just two. And you remove this card from in your warp from the game. So out of the game, out of the game. Uh, send up to three cards from the top of your deck to the Roamer's Warp. And during this turn, the next time you activate and activate main ability on a black Trunks Xeno with the energy cost of 5 from your Warp, reduce the skill cost by 1 black. Basically, what this does is a couple of things. First off, it's a 30k attacker, right? Uh, it puts you it puts cards in the warp because when you play it you draw two and one from hand goes into the warp it helps you awaken by sending saiyans into the warp uh if you send this guy into the warp uh you get to use his activate 
at main, you get to get rid of it, basically. And then you send top three cards into the warp, helping you awaken even further, in case that you haven't awakened. And then, not only does it set up your boss monster, because boss monster is played from the warp, it also reduces its cost. Like, this is absurd. So, uh, here are the two cards that this works with. So, the new promo works amazingly well with your boss monster. Of course, SSG Trunks Power Awakened. That's the only target for the Activate main. And it helps you set up your other boss monster, the 8 cost SSG Trunks Ceiling Power. So, the promo is also a setup for an amazing chain of attackers, an absolutely devastating combo, allowing you to swing four times with big cards for only two energy. Here is how you do it. So, you start the turn, right? You charge one, and you need to have one of these trunks in your warp. Okay, you use his activate main, then you overrealm to play the new promo. His auto triggers draws you two cards, you send one to the warp, all of that is fine, you've already used the activate main to discount your boss monster. So you attack with the 30k guy, then you pay one energy and you play your boss monster from the drop, so you're paying one instead of two because of the first step uh, having your warp use activate main. Now this guy is a 20k dual attacker, so you attack the first time, the attack resolves, then you attack again, the attack resolves, and then you pay one energy to send him away to play the 8 cost, which is a triple striker, which also warps a barrier card when he enters, and he's 30k, and then you attack with him, and you also attack with your leader. Anyways, yeah, this might be a bit much to follow, so uh, here is effectively the result. Okay, so this is the result of the previous slide. This is what you did for just two energy, and we're counting that you go to attack with your leader and with the A drop. I just kind of ran out of space. So what happened? You drew four cards. First of you drew four, because your leader draws two and warps one, and the new promo draws two and warps one. So you drew four cards. You attacked five times in total. Uh, once with the leader, once with the new promo, twice with your first boss monster, and then once with the A to drop a boss monster. You also filled your drop so that you can overwhelm again next turn in case you didn't kill your opponent, and you warped a card ignoring barrier. Now, let me just repeat this. For two energy, you drew four cards, you filled your drop, you set up your things for future plays, and you attacked five times for two energy with big swings. Like the value gain with this new promo is absolutely insane. The value gain is absurd. Now, unless your attack gets negated and your opponent hits you with a floodgate, specifically a floodgate, you will just run over them. Like the moment your opponent is on two energy, which is usually like turn two, turn three, like depending who goes first and stuff like that, you can just play this chain and run over your opponent. Now, this wouldn't be a fair video if I didn't show you a deck list. So, uh, this is just a very, very experimental build. So, um, I'm back on Deck Planet, of course, the best deck builder in the universe. Guys, go use it. You know the drill. Use Deck Planet, it's absolutely the best. Now, uh, let's go over this very briefly, so very rough outline, uh, you are running your engine, like, you you have to run uh, the entire rate. I believe that you just have to run the entire rate, so that you can make sure to be able to awaken on time, especially with the new mulligan rules. Then, you would run two copies of this guy, because I like this guy, he's a one cost, um, spirit boost, double striker for one, he has unique, he's 20k, and uh, you play him uh, when you have three or more energy. He's 20k double, for one. Then we go into the chain, uh, four copies of the newest promo, 
four copies of the boss monster, four copies of the other boss monster. Uh, three copies. Sorry, I, I think this is how it needs to go. Maybe up this one for consistency and take this one away. Because if you want to go like this, 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 all three of them, then you need to make sure that all three of, of them are where, where they're supposed to be. Uh, for unison, we have Supreme Kai here to make sure that you have your unison, because you absolutely need it. Uh, in this meta, we want a floodgate, so we're running pan. To get rid of barrier, well, you can do it, that, you can do it in two ways. You can do it with the 8 cost. Or you can do it with Cumber. I don't see a reason why not just go with both. So we're just playing Cumbers here. Uh, running one beyond all limits. Uh, just to fit something back from our drop. Can be our promo and then we just start the entire thing all over again. That's that's very hilarious when you do that. Uh, one uh, thwarting. Because you're, you're gonna play thwarting. Like, there's no reason not to play thwarting. Uh, four copies of Vegeta, of course. Uh, Cumber, your SCR, and then we go into the negates. Two copies of Kai Labyrinth, two copies of Petrification, two of Super Kamehameha, and one support of the Dark Empire. And here is the Z deck. So, a very, very unrefined but rough outline of where I think this deck will go in the future. Before we end the video, let's quickly jump into the summary. SSG Trunks Zeno is making a huge comeback, a massive comeback. The new promo does just about everything in this deck. Like, all of these new regional promos, and you will see uh, tomorrow we're putting Beerus out, uh, all of them are absurd. Like, they're really, really pushed. They're really pushed to make these decks meta decks. Uh, now the deck has a way to go really aggressive very early in the game. You can do this from turn 2. So yeah, you can really, really become super aggressive. Uh, the promo won't, came, won't come out until July. That is wave 2. And we don't know how BT25 will impact this deck. Because who knows, maybe Pressurification gets banned. Maybe, maybe something crippling happens to Black. It probably won't. And we probably won't really get a lot of Black next set. Who knows? We'll see. So I assume that nothing will change. I think it's safest to assume that nothing will change. But right now, Trunks looks like he will be amazing. Looking forward to SSG Trunks' Xeno domination. And once again, if you wish to try it out, go join our locals. It's really a fun time that's it for the video let me know in the comments below are you hyped to play ssg trunks xeno is ssg trunks xeno one of your favorite decks and now you're super happy that you got this new promo do you agree with me that this deck will be phenomenal once the promo comes out or do you think that i may be overreacting a bit let me know in the comments. I read all of your comments. I try to respond to everything. I love our little community. And while you're here, hit those like and subscribe buttons. Help us get to 6k subs when I'm gonna give away a booster box. This has been Damien from The Lookout and I'll see all of you in the next video.